Hi, Mrs. Ginetti. I'm here to pick up Stewie. Oh, sure, Brian. He's in the playroom with Gavin. Gavin. That's a stupid name. And nobody likes you at school. You're going to be ugly when you grow up. And everything in your house is cheap. And it smells in here. Oh, hey, Brian. Bye. That was fun. I like Gavin. Brian, I'm just going to sit in the car till the song's over. All right, but don't take too long. It'll drain the battery. Oh, shut up. It's not draining the battery. I took a Louisville slug at a both headlight. I should be on Glee. I should be on Glee. Oh, my God. I just drove. <laughs> that was amazing. I can drive. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. All right, let's see. New novel. New novel. New novel. What's it about? What's it about? A guy... A guy who loses everything, but finds his soul in Canada. All right, we're cooking now. Cooking now. And the whole book is an email to his daughter, who's dead. Oh my God, Rupert, this is such a thrill. Look at me, I'm driving. I'm driving a real car. I don't believe it. And that was Baby by Justin Bieber featuring Ludacris, which means it's time to give away some Justin Bieber tickets. Oh, that's right, bud. Our fifth caller will ween those tickets. Hey, you know what, Rupert? You know what I should do just, like, as a goof? I, I should try to win those Justin Bieber tickets just so I can, like, tear them up or use them to go to the concert. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm in so much trouble. Congratulations. You're caller number five. You're going to see Justin Bieber. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yes, Jesse. I won. Never say never. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brian's going to be so mad at me. What am I going to do? Okay, it's all right. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. We now return to the end of a depressing 1970s sci-fi movie starring a guy in a turtleneck. We've gone far enough. I think we're safe from the corporation here. Adzin, look! It can't be! No! We'll never defeat the corporation! They've won! There is one way, Adzin. You can shoot yourself. If it's the only way, I must. What the hell? Stewie, get out here! Look at this! Do you know anything about this? A about what? About what a beautiful day? Oh my god, that is surprising. Oh, I had to stop that last sentence in the middle because I was so surprised. But what happened? Gee, I don't know. Do you know what happened? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what was that? I, I, I was laughing at that funny thing you said at dinner the other night. But, but what the hell happened to my car? Well, I don't know, man, but the good news is that it doesn't look all that bad, Brian. It's just, it's that spot right there that's upsetting you, right? Stewie, I know it was you. Your potato joke was terrible. I can't believe you drove my car! You, you could have gotten yourself killed! I'm gonna have to tell Peter and Lois. No, no, you can't tell them! I'll be in so much trouble! Stewie, I have to. All right, I have covered for you plenty of times before, but not this time. This is very dangerous, and I have to make sure you never do it again. I won't, I swear! <laughs> Stewie, calm down. Sometimes in life, you just have to accept what's coming to you. Like the contestant who gets the lesser showcase on The Price is Right. What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Well, that's it. I have no choice. I've got to run away. Guess I'm on my own now, Rupert. It could be worse, though. 
least I'm not getting stabbed by some random guy on the street. See, it's the exact opposite. Oh, it happened anyway. What the? Brian, I've decided to run away. Don't come looking for me. And definitely don't chase me to the airport and catch me at the gate just before I'm about to get on the plane with, like, an emotional speech and possibly flowers. For example, it would be awful if all the TSA people were gathered around watching this emotional mo- in flagrant disregard of all newly implemented post-9-11 security measures. And if you were considering bringing a boombox to play music, I would suggest any one of these six songs. So, again, ran away, don't come after me. Last stop! What? This isn't the airport. Oh my god, Rupert, we've got to get out of here! God ah, damn it! Oh no, no, baby, fall down! Is that. Is that Consuela? Baby all alone in street. I take baby home. Don't you guys have any tub toys? Here, you rattle. This is prescription medication. And it's not even your name on the label. What, what, is, what is this? What's in this tub? It's jicama. Jicama? And what is... What, what? This is a chicken leg. Are you also making soup? For quinceañera. Big party. Many people. Oh, my God. Consuela? Hey, it's Brian. I'm, I'm looking for Stewie. No, no baby aquí. I peed in your soup. Happy 15th birthday. Which, by the way, is not a special occasion in the normal world. Stewie, I've been worried sick. What the hell are you doing here? Brian? Come on, let's go. No, I'm not going back. I can't. They're going to be mad at me. Look, I thought about it, and to be honest, it's probably my fault for leaving you alone in the car. And if you promise never to do it again, I won't say anything. Okay, I promise. My baby. What? I say let go of me. Consuela, we're leaving. My baby. Hey, she says it's her baby, man. Now get out of here. I did not want to have to do that. They were very nice to me up until then. I was very brave when the doctor gave me that shot, wasn't I, Lois? Yes, Peter, you were very brave. Even when I knew that he was going to give me the shot, I just kept looking at him in the eye and talking to him about my summer plans. You did very good. See, Peter, it wasn't so bad. Yeah, except for having to sit next to that screaming autistic lady in the waiting room. <laughs> Hi there. Excuse me. I seem to be lost. Can you guys help me? Oh my god. Are you Ryan Reynolds? From the proposal and the change-up and a ton of upcoming stuff? Yeah, that's me. I was on my way to Newport and I kind of got turned around. Of course, Mr. Reynolds. We'd be happy to give you directions. You take 138 to the Jamestown Bridge. Thanks. Hey, what happened to your arm? I just went to the doctor. Got my cholesterol checked. Wow. Why does a guy in his 20s need to get his cholesterol checked? Oh, come on now. Oh, hey. I never got your name. Uh, Peter. Peter Griffin. And I'm Lois. Catch you later, Peter. Wow, he was really nice. Not like when I met that bitch Shelly Duvall. Came right up to me like I was just dying to meet her. Peter, you're gonna have to let that one go. Lois, that dog with the different colored eyes is back. Ew, and gross. It looks like he's got a boner. Peter, just leave him alone. No, this is what Bob Barker's been talking about all these years. Go on, get. Get out of here, weird boner dog. Hey, look who it is. Hey, Ryan Reynolds. I'm playing Hitler, but he's a young Hitler, and he's got a rockin' body. It's called Hotler. Ha! <laughs> Color me seven bucks lighter. Hey, I'm so excited that we're gonna be neighbors. We should totally hang out. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm standing out here without a shirt on, and my pajama bottoms are riding insanely low on my hips. So I'm having this housewarming thing tonight, and I'd love it if you came by. Yeah, that sounds great. Hey, you made it. And you brought a friend. Great. I'm his wife, Lois. We actually met the other day. Oh, sorry. I, I meet so many people. But there's really no way you could know that. Yeah, she's a housewife. She don't know. Whatever. You got booze in here? Is it me or did she just make that weird? Please, it was definitely not you. Now I don't know what to say. Hey, I got, I got like an insider Hollywood question for you. Is, um, is L.A. short for something? Ha, <laughs> you're a riot. Hey, hey, so what's all this about? Everyone in Quahog likes to tickle fight? What is that? 
What? I never heard that. Yeah, apparently it's like a thing. It is? Yeah. I mean, they also said that people who pretend not to have heard of it are chicken. Well, I ain't no chicken. <laughs> what, nothing? <laughs> wow, you got a lot of catching up to do in tomorrow night in the dark, huh? In the dark? Yeah, if you say so. Just don't tickle me in my lower abdomen. I'm super ticklish there. Lower abdomen. You're gonna wish you never said that. This might be totally off the wall. You know, Ryan, most people take one look at me and just assume that I have plans, so I never get asked out. But I, I frequently don't have plans, so yes, I would love to do something with you on Thursday night. Yes! Oh my god, right now would be the worst time for you to tickle my lower abdomen. Because it's so exposed, because I'm cheering. Yeah! Thursday night! Oh, your big mouth just got you in trouble. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> lose. Peter, one use it. Um, hey, thanks for taking me out to dinner, Ryan, but... I gotta say, this food looks a little weird. Oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Looks like it might give me the kind of farts I get from eating Mexican food. Hey, do these pants look all right? Sometimes I put them on and I'm thinking I look all balls. No, I think you're good. You think my balls are good? <laughs> you're so weird. It's awesome, though. Oh, I... I don't know. Hey, have you noticed what a jerk the mailman is in this town? Like, he said, there is no way Peter Griffin could crush a baby bird with his bare foot while I watched. Oh, Mm, you gotta taste this lamb tagine. Mm, here. Oh, that, no, that's okay. Come on, you'll love it. Uh, Just a taste. <coughs> <coughs> that was intense, what you just did. <coughs> lots, of, lots of flavors. Whoops. Whoa, freeze frame. What's gonna happen next? I think I gotta go to the bathroom. Dirty whores, all of ya. Oh, hey, Peter. Lois, we got a problem. I think Ryan Reynolds is in love with me. What? Don't be ridiculous. It's true. Last night we were at this restaurant and he tried to gay kiss me. I'm telling you, he wants to get with me. Peter, come on. Why would any man dress well, groom himself, and lift weights just to sleep with other men? He's not gay. Well, I don't care what you say. He likes me. Hey, you. Uh, hey, Ryan. Uh, bad time? Um, perfect time. Come on in, I was just oiling my legs. Look, Ryan, you're a great guy and everything, but I don't like you in that way. I mean, there are some things that I would do with you, but my heart wouldn't be in it. What are you talking about? That you like me, and you want to be my boyfriend. <laughs> you think I'm gay? Where did you get that? Uh, I, I, you, you tried to kiss me. Look, let me, let me put it to you this way. I'm attracted to you in the way that a man is attracted to a woman. But I'm not gay. When you live out in Hollywood, you learn that life is about different spirits and energies you meet along the way. I just thought maybe our spirits could intertwine, you know? Our energies could merge. Like my spirit could go up inside your energy. Maybe you should just go. Well, well now, wait a second. What do you mean? This isn't working. It was a nice thought, but I think we should go our separate ways. No, Ryan, it, I get it now. I can be what you want. We could Peter, don't embarrass yourself. You need to just let this go. Tickle fight! No, Tickle Peter, fight! no! Tickle Peter, fight! no, Tickle no! Fight! It's time for you to leave. I can change. I can change. I'm sorry, Peter. We're done. We can never talk again. Peter, stop staring out the window. Ryan's gone. He finished his movie. He's moved out. How could I have been so blind? How could I not have seen what he offered? I think the whole thing was very strange. He thought you were strange. How about that? Whatever. I just can't help but wonder, will I ever see him again?